Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. We are doing our second, it's supposed to be the third, but we're not ready to do the second parchment paper one yet. <laughs> but the, we're doing the third mass make of the Octofold one page mini journals. And that's what these are. I showed them in the introduction video. So we're just gonna pop a few of these together today. Here's one that I've got started. And this is for, on beet dyed paper, actually. It's very light. But this is the basic, you know, deal right here. So you just fold it in half, and you fold it in half again, and then you fold it in half again. It couldn't be much easier than that. Three times, fold it in half. Crease it with your bone folder. If you don't have a bone folder, you can use the backs of your scissors. Like so. And then a third time. Hmm. times fold it in half. I picked some interesting papers today. Coffee dyed, um, you know, a couple of different ones printed, or actually this was like a backdrop for when I was stamping, you know, my back paper. Anyways, we'll see those as we progress along. Okay, what did we do here? <laughs> I gotta see. My prototype. Thank God I have a prototype, right? Okay. Here we go. That's the time I leave at seven. Oh, I love this old music, you guys. This is what I listen to while I'm crafting away. And I'll include the link below because this is the Jungle Cruise. Comes in with some interesting little like ads and stuff so this is the tricky part this is when you take this up like this and you go like this and then you get your book Ooh. it's a tricky trick and you're gonna have some openings on the sides some on the top and some on the bottom so what you want to do is tape that up tape that up tape that up and tape that up and then you'll have four pockets on the top of each page as was discussed in uh, you know earlier this one's going to be interesting because it has holes in it so we're going to see how we fold this one mm -hmm. Oh, we're supposed to fold this way first. Hey, actually, you know, it doesn't really matter which way you fold. You really can't screw this up. It's so easy. So you fold it in half, then you fold it in half again, and then you fold it in half again. And the way the lady explained it when I first saw the video... Oh, this is where they do that cool thing. <laughs> they have these weird funny little interludes so earlier I noticed okay so you unfold it just twice and then put the slit right there and there you have it you go up and you have your little booklet isn't that fantastic? So nice and easy. So quick and simple. And you know, you can put it, several of these together and have, you know, quite a few little pages in these little books. They're pretty quick to pop together. So there's that option as well. This one ought to be very interesting. Okay, let's get this one rocking and rolling. I imagine I'll probably be inking the edge of this too with that similar 
pattern because it's just so cool, right? How can we not resist to carry this tradition on, this theme in this little booklet? I think, I think I will. Why not? So, okay, got our final fold. Whoop. It doesn't want to fold because it's very strong right there. There we go. Okay, and then we unfold, unfold, and clip. Make sure you clip in the right spot. You got your opening there. You're gonna be clipping here. Oops, went a little bit far, but that's okay. I think we'll survive. Dun, 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 dun. There's a booklet. You have to be careful about the way you fold it back up if you're not creasing on every every single time you turn the paper around. One of the ladies, she does a crease every time. It's like crease, crease, crease. And I'm like, oh, I'm just I'm gonna sloppy. So I'm throwing it together. Okay, so that's the third one. I like this one because it's beet dyed and it turned pink and it's va almost Valentine's Day. It's like a few days away. So I decided to use this one that's beet dyed with a white edge and then this one that is beet dyed with a rose pink edge. Isn't that beautiful? This is my first beet dyeing too. I'm very proud of myself for this. So we're going to do this one first because it's a little more interesting. <laughs> so we fold it in half. a quick little fix for that edge. I, did you see that? In case you come across the same thing, I think that was a good little save. Because every time I try to do that last fold on these, sometimes I get a little bump up on that end corner. So you just pop that little sucker in there and make sure it stays flat and then flatten it. Oh, I just learned something new. Look at that. Okay. And our last one. Look at that. Can you guys see that? That beautiful pink rosé. It almost looks like I pinked it. I call it pinked it because when you ink with the pink color, you're basically pinking it. That's the only one I really call that. But Yeah, it looks like I pinked it. But I did not. And I will not be extra pinking on this because I like that natural pink. I'm not going to mess around with that. I might add some other embellishments or doodads, but um, I think for the most part, I'm gonna enjoy this nice soft cream pink with the nice beautiful pink feathered edges. Oh, look at that. Oh, well, of course, Muna has to jump up right when I'm doing Hey, I should have put you away, you little stinker puff. Well, good thing I'm on the fifth deal, so we're almost done with this video. Look at us, we're cruising right along today. Oh, Muna, come on. Oh, dear God, come on. Oh, here we go. I'm almost, I'm almost done. I wanna do at least one of these with washi tape. Hey, you better stay back, Missy. Okay, we're not gonna do, I think we're gonna, not what I wanna do with the other edging. I guess we'll do, our washi tape on this one because it's going to be the most challenging. I mean, we're going to do washi tape on most of them, but um, like this is pretty self explanatory, just you know, taping up the edges and it's going to be so easy. This one, on the other hand, you see how we have that hole there? I'm going to have to get creative. So let's look at the washi tape. We have some thick stuff too. I want some wide. 
found some wide stuff for this one. What do you think, Luna? Hmm? This is pretty darn cool. Gosh, we have so much washi tape to choose from here. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I just don't know, I can't decide. I'm going to take uh, several over here with me, because um, this is hard, deciding on one. So we're going to decide together on camera. <laughs> oh, washi tape, it is my dream come true. I could sing a song about this. Okay, well... We definitely need something, you know, wide. So these guys are out. We're down to, ooh, I really like the way that blends with that. I think I'm going to go for that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wait. The top pocket's okay to be open. It's the side we need to close. Well, I guess... Well, may I don't know. We're gonna have to get like creative with these circles. I don't know what's gonna happen with them. Hmm. In that case, no, I really like that. I can't. I'm like, I'm fixed on it now. 